Go ahead, sir. Hi, my name is Dave Parkinson, and uh, I'm pretty much a lifelong member of the NDP, but I have a, a concern now with the Harper government. We've seen them taking steps by increments to move Canada further and further to the far right, whether it be the issue of gay marriage, abortion, or what have you. You see backbench MPs bringing up these issues time and time again and trying to bring them toward the House. My concern is with the tough on crime rhetoric that we may see a move towards capital punishment being reinstated in Canada. Uh, with the prison industrial complex now, the lobbying partner to privatize the prison system, mandatory minimums, and there is a lot of talk and there are conservative members of parliament who would love to see capital punishment brought back in Canada. Now, I know a recent poll that showed something like 90% of conservative voters want to see capital punishment brought back in the country, and something like 90% of the liberal and the party don't. But the poll did indicate that people who had voted for the NDP pretty much split 50-50 on the issue. Now, I wanted to find out, in the event the capital punishment is being used in the House, whether it be a bill on the floor of legislature or a bill to have a referendum on the issue as before the plan when they were in opposition, what would the NDP's response be? Would they be against capital punishment right out? I know there was the instance with the long gun registry where back I think it was Rafferty and someone else that voted uh, against the party line. Would you use your powers later to crack the whip on the party and ensure that they would not vote in favor of bringing capital punishment back? And what would you do as leader to try and address this issue if it was raised again in the legislature? You know, one of the things that we're trained to do in my line of work is to avoid hypothetical questions, but I'm not going to avoid this one. Uh, because I won't have to crack the whip. There is absolutely no one who's ever worked for, run for, been elected in, as part of the caucus of the NEB, who would ever, in any way, shape, or form, would ever believe in or be part of a return to Canada. I know there was a recent, I believe it was a Texas Reef poll that said, uh, in the last election, supporters of the NEB, and it's not the outside of Quebec, we're somewhat split on the issue of capital punishment. Well, 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 whenever there's something in the news, whenever there's something in the news that gets people's passions, well, uh, it's easy to it's either it's either something you agree with or you don't. I mean, if you actually believe that thou shalt not kill it applies to the government, as I do, um, then there's there's no ambiguity around this, there's no gray area, there's no room for light on that issue. It's it's, it's a straight slam dunk, it's closed, it's done. But you're picking up on something very important in your question. It's the signaling. It's the very low-key signaling that the conservatives have become experts at because they react to focus groups. They react to the polling on people's perceptions. So even though they wouldn't bring in legislation to reverse existing Canadian law and abortion, they're constantly signaling to the conservative and reform party base that if they could, they'd love to. So they bring in emotion uh, on, on abortion and then they try it, but when it gets to the they say, well, how much of this one could have done to you? The same day, by the way, they brought in another motion on abortion, even, even more twisted in the way that they try to come at it. They do know how to signal to the base on capital punishment. They do, for example, when there's a Canadian on death row in the States and they refuse to call the Canadian president and ask for clemency, they were finally forced by the courts to ask for clemency in that case. But they had already sent the signal to their base, you know, we really don't like this, we're being forced by the courts. You know that we think that this guy's scum and he should be done with, but, you know, this is the way they send these low-key signals to their base all the time. So we know that that's what they're about. But in so many other ways, Canadians deserve better. Conservatives are all about telling us why we have to settle for less. Why our children have to settle for less. What we're trying to do is follow what Jack always told us, that together we can lift each other up, aspire to better, have an optimistic, positive view of the future, but put in place the things that will actually make lives better in communities like the one that suffered this terrible tragedy last summer and make sure that once the cameras are turned off, long term, people are there, they know that they get support and that they're going to have a government whose only priority is taking care of people. And we'll do that by providing good, competent public administration. That's a given. We have to provide that and make sure people are confident about that. But the rest, believe me, our values are very clear and people know where we stand.